All right, everybody. Apparently, I missed you all when I was running inside. Um, so I wanted to uh, film my experience describing and analyzing and eating my pizza so that I could share that with you and you could watch it in your own time. I guess these things get a little complicated sometimes. Um, so anyway, yeah, uh, sorry we didn't get a chance, more of a chance to catch up. Driving and all presents a challenge. Cheers. Uh, it was good to see you all, however, briefly. Cheers, Arlen. Cheers. Jen's joining me from off, off screen. She was like, yeah, I'll do that, but I don't want to be in a video of myself eating pizza that you're going to send to your friends. I was like, fair. So, cool. So what we've got, uh, we went to two spots. We went to Triple, Triple Beam Pizza, which Max mentioned to you is a, uh, a Nancy Silverton restaurant. He seems to be really familiar with it. Uh, this is our first time, mm -hmm. and we're extremely excited. We got three pizzas from there. We got a cheese, a pepperoni, and what was this one? Gluten-free sausage and fennel. Sausage and fennel on a gluten-free crust. And the cheese was something special. For uh, it wasn't just like cheese, was it? It was like it something like, cheese. like three. Like four cheese. Four cheese. So four times as much cheese as usual. And then from Sage which is right next door. It's a vegan place right next door to Triple Beam. We got the Farmer's Veggie Pizza. Farmer's Veggie Pizza, which is like, is that mostly arugula or spinach on top? Which one is that? With the green? Do you know? Mm -hmm. We'll figure it out. Um, it'll be in the comments or the, uh, it'll be in the description. And then the cheese they use is like a cashew cheese, which is pretty cool. And we've enjoyed their pizzas before. It was like right there. So like this would be such a nice contrast. Um, and I will give you a quick overview here. We do a little reverso if I can. Um, let's see. Oh, I can't really reverse it mid video, can I? Okay, I'll just flip it around like this. So, got your pepperoni from Triple Beam, four cheese. There's the sausage and fennel. There's the vegan uh, farm, harvest farm, or what was it called? Farmer's veggie. Farmer's veggie pizza, and a little salad from Sage as well. Great, so we are in good shape. Um, now, I'm not gonna review the salad in this video. Uh, we can save that for another crawl. New Paltz salad crawl, we don't have that hat yet. Um, okay, let's get situated here. Sorry if this is like not really fun to watch, but I mean, the nice thing about being in a Zoom is you can all be talking amongst yourselves while everyone's f figuring out their tech. Hmm. Might need another. Uh... Okay. There we go. All right. I'm going to start with the cheese. Obviously, that's traditional. Um, Jen, you've already gone there, right? Oh yeah. I'm halfway through my dinner. Positive experience with the cheese. Oh yeah. Give it a look. So Triple Beam does these like rectangular slices. They all kind of look like grandma's pies, but they're not grandma's. Why? because the sauce isn't on top. Right guys? We, we've learned this, been over this a few times. Cornicione, um, nice variation, no soggy bottom. Um, oh, pardon me, the crusta. Cornicione, not, uh, not too pronounced, but uh, some nice scarring, um, pock marks, we lovingly call them. And look at that, look at that edge there. Really nice browning, okay. Do you know what the four cheeses are? That smells amazing. It smells like Swiss or something. Good spring. Mmm. That is a very assertive cheese blend. It's definitely not just mozzarella. There's something Swissy going on in the mix. And whether that's just like an awful lot of parm, but there's definitely like a, a hard cheese element here. Crust, really beautiful, not crispy. I could have gone for a bit more of a crackery. As you can see, it kind of bends, which is fine, but not too exciting. Got an answer on the cheeses? Just mozzarella and fontina. 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 I don't know if I could pick fontina out of a lineup, truthfully. What's your hard. what's your what's your sense of fontina? A hard cheese. A hard cheese. Okay, well, I'll take that. I think. 
like and maybe like semi semi hard. Mm. The Hollywood loaf of cheeses. Mm. It's good. It's really good. I'm not losing my mind over it. It's similar to a Gruyere. Mm. Oh wait. No, hold on. Hold on. Mm. It's an incredibly rich and creamy cheese. Rich and creamy. It's sweet and pungent, unveiling tones of butter and roasted nuts. It's semi hard. That's what I said. Semi hard. Right. Okay. Jen nailed it. Well done. Um, you know, this is good. The cheese is, is very good. You know, is it making me like forget all about some of our finer Newport slices? No, it's not. It's it's something different. It seems to sort of have a, a New York sensibility. You know, it's not it's not uh, it doesn't feel Neapolitan and it's like less Neapolitan than New York and it's in its sort of um, I don't know in, in, in its ideological underpinnings, but. While it's very good and while, while it would score well on the crawl, I'm sure, it's not, you know, it's not that traditional New Paltz slice that's the standard bearer. Um, okay, I want to move to the, do a little detour to the gluten-free crust with the uh, sausage and fennel. And there is a cheese on here too, isn't there? Is there a feta? Mm, goat cheese, I think. Goat cheese, okay, cool. Now on the back, you can see, obviously like with gluten-free crust, it's a different experience. You never get quite the, the charring. It doesn't work out quite the same. Um, but it is a re relatively uniform crust, uh, not much snap to it. It's got mozzarella fontina too. Mozzarella and fontina as well, okay. Mm -hmm. So some similar flavors we should expect. Uh, it looks really beautiful, obviously. It looks, it's a very attractive slice. So when you bite into it, none of that gluten-y, doughy character. Definitely crumbly. crumbly. You wouldn't mistake this for a gluten um, dough. Ah, oh, there he is. There, Max has just signed back on. Um, I'm going to pause. It's on your shirt. Huh? Oh, never mind. I thought that was, I was wanted to see what was on your shirt. I thought it was a pizza, but it's a martini. It's, no, a, it's a man diving into a martini. I think it's a woman, but it could, it could be a man wearing a top, but it's possible that it's <laughs> yeah. a... Fair enough. <laughs> so Max has joined us, everyone. Um... Max, I was just talking about the uh, gluten-free crust with the, uh, the <laughs> interesting. Okay, gluten-free crust fennel sausage pizza from Triple Beam. Who were you just talking about it with? I'm recording me eating pizza for the rest of the group because they didn't have the opportunity oh. to see it in person. Got it. Um, okay. Can you all hear Max? That's, that was kind of a joke because you're, you're not watching this right now. You'll watch it immediately after I send it. Um, Max, have you tried the gluten-free crust from Triple Bean? Probably not. I, I don't really like to eat things that need gluten, that don't have gluten in them. I understand that some people can eat gluten, but then you just don't get to eat the things that are supposed to have gluten in them. Bold. <laughs> Bold claim. <laughs> that's, my, that's my take. Sorry, people with Crohn's disease. Do we have any gluten-free people in, on the call? Celiac, celiac, celiac. What? I'm sorry for people who have Crohn's disease, too. Um, do we have any gluten gluten people on the crawl? I don't think so. I know um, Nick is lactose intolerant. I'm probably lactose intolerant, but I just suffer through it. Did you take one of those um, medications today? No, I, I, I took those for a little while, and then I, I stopped because, I, I don't know, it just didn't seem like it did that much. How do you like the, why did you get gluten free? We're always curious. Jen eats gluten-free sometimes, or, you know, she eats like a lower gluten diet than your average American, perhaps. Um, and How is it? It's very interesting. It's definitely, I was just, just telling the crawl, um, you wouldn't mistake it for a gluten crust. Like, it doesn't have that, that, that springiness, that um, chewiness. But it has a nice texture, and it's, it's sort of richly played. Like, I like it as... I like it quite a lot as its own sort of item. It's like not exactly a substitute. It feels like a different, it, it feels so, sort of philosophically different, you know? Sure. Jen, here's Max. Do you wanna... Hey, Max. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, 
did. Do you like the gluten free pizza? I like it. I think for gluten free, I think I don't it's think very that, good. That seems like you don't like it. No, I do like it. I I actually do like it. It's just um maybe it'd be better with a different topping. It's kind of kind of dry. I feel like we needed like a like a cheesier, like gooier topping on it. It almost feels like we almost need like olive oil on the side to dip it in. You've got marinara, but that doesn't really fit. But you need mm. marinara on this. Correct. Yeah. And there's ranch too. Oh, good. Max, do you put ranch on your pepperoni pizza? I I would I would I, I don't know if I would. Where did you get? Did you get ranch at Triple Bean? They sent it. Yeah, I mean, I absolutely would. Ranch is delicious. Thank you. That's an interesting thing for you to say, Max. And I'm curious to hear the group's thoughts on this just in the comments. He can't um, see you right now. Well, no, he can hear me. Because, Max, my, like... There's not really comments, but that's fine. <laughs> Jen, I felt like her propensity for dipping her pepperoni pizza in ranch struck me as such a, such a curiosity. And I figured it was just like... Well, okay, you didn't grow up in New York. You didn't grow up in a place with a really strong pizza culture. Hence, you have to 